Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about ways that I am changing things up so that I, how do I put it? So that I have a steady decline in weight rather than losing a chunk and then gaining a little bit, then losing, then gaining. Because I am stuck in a rut again. It's like I lose, I gain a little, I lose, I gain a little. And I know that during the week that is normal, right? But when I compare my journey now to two years ago, it's really weird and strange and different. And I want to tell you what I think is going on and how I'm going to combat this. And if this is happening to you and you're struggling with that teeter, I know we've talked about it before, but I really think that it's important um, because I think I know the reason why. So let's get right into this video. All right, guys, so are you teetering? Are you losing a little, then up a little, then losing a little? I see in the group that I have called Keeping It Optivia with Felicia Nurse, there are people posting charts of their weight loss and it goes like this. That's normal, right? But we don't want to know that. <laughs> we want a steady decline. And even if it's just one way in a week, we want the decline there. I did Optivia. Uh, a couple of years ago, I steadily lost week after week after week. There were two times in my whole journey of losing 50 pounds that I didn't lose and I stayed the same. So, um, or I gained like 0.1. It was like that ridiculous. So looking back into that whole scenario, hold on, my dogs are barking. Okay, I'm back. So one of the things that while looking back at my journey through video, uh, I binge watched almost my whole journey <laughs> the other day. And the one thing that stuck out the most is that I wasn't hacking anything. I literally was eating the food that the plan said to eat. I didn't make bagels by adding egg whites, baking powder, all that stuff. I wasn't adding a ton of Walden Farms. I wasn't whipped creaming it. I wasn't, like, I wasn't hacking. And hacking can be good because you were allowed three condiments. And so it, it's okay. But I feel like in some strange way, looking back at my videos, the condiments that I was allowed to have, I would always use at my leaning green. It was like condiments added to the whole food portion of the program. They weren't added into the mashed potatoes, the chili, the brownie, although every now and then there was a little PB2 there. Um, I, I just feel like I need to go back to the basics. Once again, guys, this plan is written for a reason. I mean, like, correct me if I'm wrong. I just feel that I you know, at, at my age, at the situation with my hormones and menopause, I just feel like my body, as I get older, you know, um, it definitely makes a difference. And I was also getting more exercise back then. I was also um, more active in general because predominantly I'm working from home. Um, which means I'm sitting in front of a laptop more often. So there's a lot of things that are different. I want to get back to those basics. I want to start using the elliptical again on the regular basis. I want to start going down into our gym here in our house, no less. We have a gym and working out a little bit and just putting on a little bit of muscle to help burn the calories. I have a feeling that with all of that combined, you know, like we're not going hiking as much there's just a lot of differences that I really didn't notice until I went back and watched my own videos. <laughs> so it's really important that uh, you guys document your own journey also because you'll be able to use that later on. Like I'm journaling now, I'm doing a lot of things, but I swear these videos for me are golden. Like when I sit back and watch myself, it's like watching someone else and I am listening and taking in the tips that I'm giving, but I'm doing it for myself. It's such a strange thing to watch yourself, but it really has been getting me into that mindset of, you know, eliminating a lot of the stuff. Also, the sucralose, the Splenda, and the Aspartame. When I did Optivia a couple years ago, I gave up soda, diet soda, anything that had um, Splenda or sucralose in it. 
when I look at Walden Farms, when I look at the sugar-free whipped cream, when I look at the creamer that I'm putting in my coffee, all of that is loaded with chemicals. Those are the artificial sweeteners that are known to make people either gain weight, keep their weight, it just that's the way it is. So I'm officially, as of today, not drinking any more diet soda. I'm gonna really cut back on the Walden Farms because I can overdo that easily. Um, and I just wanna kick that sucralose out of my day and you know, see if these little changes, if, if they add up, I start being more active. I'm gonna put my laptop, I mean, I'm working like 16 hour days sometimes for my regular job, not including maintaining the site and the just everything, it's a lot. Um, I know that my stress level lately has been higher because of work, it's been just really busy which I'm not complaining about, but I've noticed it. I'm very tired lately, you know? And then of course the mind goes, was this related to my COVID experience? Maybe, but I'm trying not to go there. I just feel like some of my habits are not the same as they were. So I am going back there. I am going to follow Felicia Nurse from two years ago. I'm gonna stick with what I know is right. I'm gonna trust in the program. They provide you with the feelings the way they are for a reason. It's great to make a bagel, right? I love that. That was one of my most favorite hacks. But maybe I'm having too many bagels. Maybe I should just eat the potatoes like they're supposed to be eaten. I, I just feel like I'm trying to doll up so many things and be creative because that's my nature. And I love to share that with you. And I'm not saying it's bad. Just for me, I feel like I need to just stop with all of that for a while just to see what happens. Kind of like a little experiment. If two weeks go by and I'm a, I'm a consistent weight loss because of these things, these changes, then I know that's the way it is. If, uh, if you guys haven't followed me on that journey, go check out my library. There's years worth of videos, years. I've been on YouTube years <laughs> and so, I have been through so many diets, Weight Watchers, um, Wonder Slim, which that will be another video because since Optavia is running out of food, I might dabble into the Wonder Slim shakes or whatnot just to supplement what Optavia doesn't have. I don't know, I'm thinking about it. The company kind of changed from when I was on it years ago. They didn't use Stevia, but now they do. So they're kind of equivalent to Optavia and a whole heck of a lot cheaper. So I'm, I'm exploring some things, so I'll keep you updated on all of that. I'm truly not complaining, guys. I just wanna tweak things up a little bit because I have like 10 pounds left. Those 10 pounds are always the hardest and I want to get rid of them <laughs> before the winter. Like my goal is by January 1st, I want these 10 pounds off and that's so doable because we're only in October. But it's just like, I feel like it's just a little bit harder this time and it's a little bit frustrating. Not a big deal, I'm not complaining, but I just want to get back into that state. I want to know, are you guys hacking the heck out of your fuelings? And if you are, are you at a standstill? Do you struggle with that up and down on the scale? Um, and what are you doing to change that up? And what kind of advice are your health coaches giving you? Because sometimes, you have a great health coach and sometimes they're just okay. So I'm just curious. So leave me some comments on the video, not in the group. Comment here on the video. And if you're in the group watching this video because you clicked the little link I provided, I would so appreciate if you actually went onto my YouTube channel and commented there because this way, this video can help so many more people than just our group. So hope that makes sense and I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for watching. We can do this, yes we can, as long as we do it together. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.